people talk about access to jobs and one of the challenges that we've had in Baltimore is access. And why should lack of internet, lack of transportation, lack of just a knowledge of preparing a resume, interview skills, prevent people who want to work to do it? This was really focused on being an economic driver to help uh, residents of the city of Baltimore. So we really keyed in on uh, providing the service for neighborhoods with 50% or higher unemployment rate. I was fortunate enough to work for a company to spearhead the effort to contribute to the cause. We came up with the concept of the mobile job unit, the library began the design. It turned out better than ever anticipated. We're all trying to find ways to be able to reach out to our community and for the longest time the library has been bordered by its walls and has a difficult time reaching out. Well this kind of takes that problem away where we can then just go to the community that needs us and give them what they need that the library has for so long provided. It's not something that's a new service, it's just a new manner in which to do it. We are connecting with our neighborhoods, saying come into the library, we're going to bring the library to you, is powerful. We've had so many instances where people followed us or stopped us at an intersection and said, I need what you have, and we hand them flyers and schedules and things. I just imagine dollars and cents flowing into a home, you know, and each one of those is making a difference. So. This person got a job and, and her home and her family is in a better position because of some of the assistance that we were able to offer. Now that people are coming with such serious requests, or at least those are the ones that I see every day, I need a job, but I have a background and I haven't been able to get a job for years, can you help me? So to be able to come into a neighborhood where the people that pass you by are full of that kind of request is so meaningful in terms of what we do every day. There is no neighborhood that we do not want to be in. There is no community that we don't want to service. And it's a really great example of um, the power of Enoch Pratt in the city of Baltimore. We recognize that we are contributing in a larger fashion to the fabric of the communities in which we're part of. And that's the power of libraries.